What's up you two, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Jules. We do obtain her during level 40 of this season's battle pass. She is an epic outfit. She is part of the Intrepid Engineer set. She does have three selectable styles, which is the default, the Welder Jewels, and the Shadow Jewels. She also comes with the backlink Ohm's Perch. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So, Jules. We have known about this game for quite some time now. She was leaked during last season whenever you did see her in Midas' frame picture and she got a lot of popularity back then. The skin itself is very unique. She does have a lot of tattoos and I don't mind tattoos but just the color scheme of the tattoos themselves is kind of throws it off. A lot of people do say that she looks kind of weird with them and I couldn't agree more. But it's also very unique and it does have like gears on them which is pretty cool for the skin. She also has edit styles which is pretty decent. I do like the default one. It's actually one of my favorite ones of all three. Does she match her rarity? I'm gonna say she does. She's a pretty cool skin. For being an epic outfit she actually does have a very cool set. The back name itself is pretty amazing as well which is the own perch. It's basically a pet that is a robotic. And if you do have this, it does glide with you in the battlefield. And then it does do a cool animation if you actually equip just the own that it is a glider in the battle pass. And just everything about it is pretty cool. So what's my final rating on Jules? I'm gonna have to give Jules an 8 out of 10. She's a very solid skin. The only thing that holds her back is her selectable styles. They're not as good as the original one. I would have wished they would have actually done more with her instead of just having the welder edit style which basically just changes her outfit color and it does give her a welding hood and that's about it and then you do have the shadow jewels which basically again changes her outfit into an all dark outfit and it does give her the same mask that brutus does, did have so without further ado guys let's get this combo started for the first combination with Jules, we are going to be sticking to the default edit style and we are going to be pairing her up with the LM back thing. Now whenever I was going through my back thing to see what combinations I actually was going to use with her, the LM back thing actually stood out. As you can tell it does have the same theme as the skin, it does have that screen on the middle of it that goes really well with her pants and I really just like it because it matches really well with the theme of the skin. And for the harvesting tool we're going with the race quarter staff. The race quarter staff does have a same color scheme to the skin itself. It does have that color scheme that does have brown in it. It does have a lot of leather. And it just looks like something that Jules will actually construct herself and would use in the battlefield. For the glider, we're going the dumpster flyer. The dumpster flyer actually fits really well with the theme of the skin as well. It does use a lot of metallic things to it that really complements the theme of the skin. Also, it is light blue, and as you can tell with her pants, they are light blue, so it matches really well. For the contra, we're going the exhaust. The exhaust, even though they're glitched here, is a very solid contra to use with her. As you could tell, she does have the limb backlink that does have like similar style to the contra itself, and that's the reason why I'm using it. And for the wrap, we're going with the mayhem. As you could tell, the mayhem does give it like a rusted look to them. It also looks like they're all scratched up and beat up, and it just goes really good with the jewel skin. It matches really well with her theme, and overall, fits real nicely. So enjoy the combo. For the second combination with Jewel, I am pairing it up with the Claptrap. The Claptrap is a pet backlink. It actually matches really good with the whole vibe she does have. The skin itself does remind me a lot about Borderlands, so having Claptrap as one of her inventions makes sense and just fits real well. And for the harvesting tool, we're going with the Splinter Strike. The Splinter Strike itself is a very solid harvesting tool. The reason why I like it is because it looks like it's something she would have built herself. The color schemes of light blue really do complement her pants and then it's, it looks amazing with her. And for the glider we're going the Fortilla Flyer. The Fortilla Flyer again is one of those things that actually looks like she built herself. It is the Victor Umbrella during this season and the color schemes just match really well with the skin. For the control we're going the Spectral Essence. A simplistic control but it goes very good with her. 
it is when coming from both hands and feet and it just looks amazing and for the wrap we're going the rivet the rivet does uses a lighter blues color scheme that really complements her pants it also has the color yellow that really complements the clap trap and overall just fits both skin and backing nicely so enjoy the combo For the last combination with Jewel, I am pairing her up with Scrappy. The Scrappy backlink actually looks very good with her. The curl schemes of the backlink itself is brown. As you can tell, she does have a lot of leather, her steel toe boots, her welding gloves, and almost anything she is wearing that usually holds a tool is brown, so it matches really well. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to the crossroads. Again, this is one of those items that actually looks like she made it herself. The theme is all there, it matches really well, and overall, looks very cool too with her and for the harvesting tool we're going the crossroads the crossroads again is one of those harvesting tools that actually looks like she made it herself the theme actually matches perfectly with the skin and it overall looks real cool and for the glider we're going the spray cell the spray cell has the same theme as the skin which basically she created herself the glider itself is very unique to the skin itself as well and it just matches really well for the contra we're going the lightning the lightning is one of those contras that's a very universal contra the main reason why I'm using it is because it is lining and matches really good with the curl scheme of her pants and fits well. And for the wrap, we're going to Battle Barn. The Battle Barn does have a reddish curl scheme that looks like it's peeled and worn out. I really do like this wrap because it actually matches really good with the theme of the skin. And the skin does have red and so does the back main, so it matches really well. So enjoy the combo. For the first combination with the arms perch, I am pairing it up with Mayhem. The reason why I'm pairing it up with Mayhem is because they both have similar vibes to them. They both have the same theme, then the curse scheme of the thing that he does sit on is orange that really complements the skin. I really do like this combination, it just fits perfectly. For the harvesting tool, we're going to Sawtooth. The Sawtooth harvesting tool actually matches really well with this combination. As you could tell, it is a rusted, beat up, self-made harvesting tool that matches really well. It does have the similar theme to it and overall fits real nicely. For the glider, we're going the Fortilla Flyer. The Fortilla Flyer is one of those gliders that's self-made. As you can tell, she is a wastelander, so having something that you do make yourself as a glider actually makes sense. It fits the whole theme and it just matches really well. For the control, I'm going with the Alphabet Soup. The Alphabet Soup is basically what the name refers. It's just Alphabet Soup falling as you're descending to the battlefield. The reason why I'm using it is because the soup itself is orange and the orange complements both the backlink and the skin very nicely. And for the wrap, we're going the burn mark. The burn mark is a very solid wrap. You really don't see it in the game as much, but you guys should use it. It is an orange that goes into a brighter orange or red color scheme and it matches really everything in this combination. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination with the Ohm's Park, I am pairing it up with Sparkplug. Sparkplug actually does have a similar theme that Jules does have, so this combination actually matches really well. She is a mechanic, so she's usually messing with anything that does have a motor, so having this as a back theme makes sense. I really do like it, the orange actually fits real fitting as well since the skin itself does have orange in her undershirt and just wraps the whole combination together nicely. And for the harvesting tool, we're going the Razor's Edge. The Razor's Edge is an all orange harvesting tool. 
It does have that orange lining that really complements both the backlink and the skin and overall just looks amazing. And for the glider we're going with the Milado. The Milado glider does have that blue and orange color scheme that really complements perfectly with the skin. As you can tell both of them have the same color scheme and that's the reason why I'm using it. For the Contra we're going with the Plasma Trail. The Plasma Trail is basically what the name refers. It's just a blue trail of plasma on both hands and feet. It goes really good with her outfit and that's the reason why I'm using it. And for the wrap, I'm going with the Goosebumps. The Goosebumps is an animated wrap. It does have similar color schemes to the skin and the glider and that's the reason why I'm using it. The flames themselves look amazing and overall just fits this whole combination. So enjoy the combo. Those are the three combinations I found so far for jewels and the two combinations I found so far for the orange perch. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos of your favorite cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps to these all together. Each time you guys use my code near the iron shop or the epic game store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. Also, tomorrow I'm going to be hosting my community combo video, so if you haven't entered your post in my community post, leave it down there. And for all my social media and discords, they'll be in the description below. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.